It's time once again for Let's Play Golden Sun Lost Age. I'm still Nye, and that's still Nixu. Nope. We're exploring the Ampi Desert. Not that there's admittedly too much to do in here right now. As you can see, there are a bunch of stakes that we can play with. Stakes. Stakes. Not the kinds we've meet with, the time the kinds that we've had. This is where it's very good that you uh, actually did get that gin and got the pound synergy. If you didn't, you actually cannot progress uh, particularly far through this area. For as far as I recall. Stakes. What you also need to know is the one that does it. Nope. Some of these stakes actually hide uh, ladders that go higher. Ah, it's Nemu! What? It's an emu! Kill it! Oh my Hit god! It fire! Emu. They'll take your eyes out, man. Good, now we'll have roast emu. Ooh, nice! All three of them leveled up, and uh, all three of them gained a uh, synergy spell, too. Nifty. Now, the problem oh, with... I think that's a mimic. Pretty sure the problem with pounding down stakes. It's not a mimic, it's a guardian ring. Neat. The problem with pounding the stakes is that every so often one of these stakes is actually required to advance. So you gotta be careful with what you do. Hey look, it's people. Blood bridge, the washed out bridge? We've been in hotter deserts. So we're just going to ignore that, we're just going to keep walking. That looks suspicious. Well, we're just going to keep on moving on. So some of the uh, pound puzzles here follow a little bit of the same rules that we saw in um, uh, Crossbow Nile that you can easily get rid of a uh, stepping stone you need to press. You might be able to see that there's a ladder behind this one. That looks like the only way to that gin. Unfortunately, we have to pound it. Because there's no other way to get, uh, get through otherwise. Which sucks. Ooh, if you go down there, you can get a ladder access. Saber Dance. Ooh, hello, it's a new ability. Check this out. Saber Dance is actually based on your attack. Nifty. Mm hmm. So, it's based, so that's entirely on the wrong character. Mm hmm. It basically does 150% damage of one of your standard attacks. Hello, hello, hello. hello. What's all this then? <laughs> Down you got the antidote. Road. Ah, it's an emu! Kill it! 
quick before it kills us all. that you don't need to have. By leaving the area and by returning, we actually reset the pillars. Which means that the puzzle isn't missable. Mm -hmm. Which is good. There are some puzzles in some games that are just... Guy, dang it. There are a couple of them in this game, too. Not really many. puzzles you only get one shot at? There's not many. Uh, it's They're usually point-of-no-return puzzles. Ooh. Now, uh, Lost Age, I don't think it has any, like, true points of no return, but there are a couple of uh, times where if you um, miss out on something, as I said, you will miss out on it for quite some time. So you always want to get everything at uh, as early as you can. Because you don't want to be that guy that missed that one thing that would have made your life a whole lot easier down the line. Okay, so we get to pound this one. And we pound this one. <gasps> why did it have to be dinosaurs? I mean, really, why did it need to be dinosaurs? It was that or snakes. I can deal with snakes. I don't know why you keep using Saber Dance. On accident, I'm used to Juggle being our first one on the list. True. Besides, I like Saber Dance, it's cool. Yeah, it's a nifty ability. You're juggling swords. With your mind. With mind bullets. We don't get that until like level 27, I think. That, that, that's down the line. How the hell do these flightless birds get up onto these platforms? By jumping down from higher ones. How do we get down the higher ones? It just makes no bloody sense. By jumping down by, from ones higher. It's turtles all the way down, but emus all the way up. That is an incredibly frightening thought. Yes, that means I have to do this entire area over again. <laughs> oh, goodness. You kind of want them to fall asleep. Well, we have the tremor bit, but there's nothing to use it on yet. <sighs> Dead cobalt. Do both Merc and Dream, Dream Tide have a uh, sleep effect? Yep. <laughs> oh my goodness. Though I think Merc's uh, effect procs more often. Quite probably. Dream Tide does do a, a considerable amount of damage. Yeah. It is kind of a shame they popped the uh, sleep cherry this early. Because I don't think we get them anymore after this. Sleep is such a useful effect to be wasted on just this early. Yeah. It's nice that they gave us the water based weapon just prior to the earth based area, though. Okay, let's try this dance again.
Why not? It's our base spell. Okay, now it seems to be ready to play. Awesome. Unfortunately, can't actually use it. Or can't actually give like three to uh, her just yet. Which is kind of a shame, because I'd like to see her go up another level for Puro. But, right, we can't go that way yet. Oh, we don't need this anymore. No idea. Let's see, easy down here. No. Okay. Into the next area. Oh, how nice. A synergy stone. Okay, this area, if I remember correctly, is rather important. I think this is where we get our next uh, map synergy. Well, I'm sure we all know how to deal with one of those. Whap. Scorpion. Because we truly want to deal with one of those. Oh, yep. Let's see, let's check this area first before we deal with the scorpion. Okay, so now we know where it's going to go. Notice how it actually does keep going after, um... Darn. That's the trick to that one. It actually does keep going while you're in the menu, so you gotta make sure to time it right. Or just hotkey it. is rather important, I promise. I'm not just doing this for laughs. And now you get another one. With two stakes this time. And we need to send this guy north. And how do we do that? Well, first you have to get him to change direction, it looks like. I don't think we can. Hmm. Let's try it. Let's put him in a loop. Yeah, we decidedly do not need loops. So let's try this one. Or not. That's fine too. Okay, now where's he going? That's another loop. Wow. get another loop. It's okay. We're getting it. We're getting it. That's the end of the loop over here, isn't it? Yep. 
Okay, so it's decidedly not that steak. That's where I need to hit him. Okay. I know what I'm doing. Now we need to go say hi. Yeah, it did just cast synergy at us. Scoop. And then it attacked us. Okay. This is actually the first major boss we fought. Let's get some buffs going. And we'll kick this guy's ass. Drops defense. I like that. <laughs> Darn, no paralyze. But apparently, it gets to do it to us. Because that's fair. Do I want Zaga or do I want Ramses? I would use, honestly, I'd use Zygon with, yeah, with Jenna. Probably a good idea. Well, I don't think that actually worked, whatever he tried to do to us. I'm just going to straight attack. Use Fume. Deal some damage there. Ooh, this guy's weak to fire. Interesting. Don't think it's gonna survive Atlanta, but if it does, I'm gonna try to get the kill with uh, Jenna's cannon. It survived. It's impressive. That's bad. Yeah, dude, the poison is not pleasant to deal with. Uh, you have an antidote. Heals my right now. Damn. Darn, that didn't even work either. That sucks. Okay, let's finish this. I gotta get Shiba healed up whenever I get a chance. I'm alright. I'm outright impressed this thing is still alive, honestly. It's kind of time for a freaking boss battle. Like, I don't even remember this thing being this alive. You know? Mm hmm And the longer I fight it, the more I want to get the kill with cannon. I know. And <laughs> it's defending. Really? You know what, Felix? We're, we're doing this. Because it took out Sheba, we're getting it with cannon. That's how this is going to work. It's defending. Fire the cannon. There we go. I got a vial for my trouble. But I got the scoop gem. Yet another one of these single synergy items. And this is what the scoop gem does. Yep. It scoops. 
terrible at card games, though. Yeah. Ooh. Somehow that made an oasis. Mm -hmm. Yep, very helpful. I... Ow. Physics. You know what? No. If I'm going to be brain hurted by anything in this, it's not going to be the floating water. It's not going to be the water you have to be able to see to get into. It's not going to be the floating continents on a massive sea. It's going to be what comes later. Which bit? I'm not going to spoil it. Say, there's a lot of bits that come later. If, if you're tr if you're trying to like narrow it down to one, there's a specific bit. I will mention it when it happens. No, nope, that's not a scoop point. I was testing to see if it was possible while Shiva was down. I couldn't remember if this followed the Pokemon rules or not. I don't know, but Jenna is kind of your HM slave at this point. Pretty much. She has no out-of-combat abilities anyways. That I can remember. Yeah, combat or er, fire doesn't really have many out of combat utilities that are really synergy based, yeah. except for maybe start campfire or. Okay. And there's the trick. Purify water. But that's a mercury thing. Well, I guess if you're talking about like like mercury pulling would do that better separate the water from the impurities directly, yeah, that would be more mercury. Fire just burnates things. Cauterize wound? But we have mercury and Venus both doing curative magic. Well, I mean, if we're talking about useless elements, heart didn't even make it into the game. Ah. <sighs> You know what this map needs? More cowbell? More sand. <laughs> Why don't they just build a thing ladder? Because these cliffs are like a hundred feet up. Oh yeah, we're dealing with cartoonish scale. the scale of stupid here. Wait, that means you were scaling cliffs. Barehanded, with no support, while carrying a fainted girl. Felix is that much of a badass. And then at other times you were jumping down them. Mm -hmm. Sliding down them with no support. What I should and have been telling. At times other than that you were pounding you were, you were jumping between objects. Whoa, that's a wow. That's a graphical glitch. No, it's a it's a cloud. It's shaped like a missing no. I'm glad you can see it too. I would have been depressed if I was the only one that could see that. Nope, nothing there either. Come on, I know one of these has something in it. Yes, that one. It has an ant lion. No, it has a coin. Th Three hundred fifteen of them. A single spider, really? I can't just stomp this thing? Can I just Goomba stomp this, please? You don't have the stomp boots. Ah, uh, look, it's one of these Venus lighthouse things. Oops. I know what I have to do, really. 
In order to actually get that chest, I have to go all the way around twice. But it's worth it to get a hard nut. Really? Yeah. I guess a permanent boost to defense is good. How did you even get in here? We have these rushing sand waterfall things and all of a sudden emu. It came from the other end of it. Apparently. Yeah, because this is fair. I wonder how many people actually tried to get that from the sand. Ha <laughs> ha! You got the blow me. That wasn't funny. Oh, yes, it was. I don't know why you didn't equip it on someone who could actually use it right now. Because so that, that it... person can't use it. Oh, okay. Jenna can't use Mason's for some reason. Like, I could have become on Felix, but no one can use the sword, so... Okay, so the only net gain is to give Shiva... I try to give it to the person who can use it the best. Like, who needs the boost the most. Because having an even party is uh, smarter than not having an even party. Yeah. As much as Telly makes the otherwise. I can't go that way. Because I cannot actually fight this stream. So we're going to go down. Hmm. I don't know, guys. What does that look like to you? Looks like a puzzle. It's a puzzle we can't solve right now. Oh. Yep, we do not have the synergy required. And which synergy is that? Here's a hint. Jupiters use it a lot. Reveal. Yep. Oh, look. Here's another one. So this is more of a, if you want all the stuff, you're going to have to backtrack. Oh, yeah. Golden Sun is all about the backtracking. There are a lot of places in this game that you do have to backtrack to get everything. Mm -hmm. That's why we're doing a Let's Play of it, so that way they don't have to. For instance, look at me backtracking right here. I don't know, I'm more of the camp of if it's going to hint that you need this, then either the story should drive you through here again when you have it, or you should get it while in that location. I can't remember why I came up here. I can't remember what the point of this is. Oh, right, because of this. This is the second class based weapon, or class based item. We're gonna let. Jenna Speaking, oh, hey, look, we have an enemy to test on. The Tamer's Whip allows you to do a number of things, including summon crap. Doggy! And also, she gets to play with Indiana Jones. Does a decent amount of damage, too. Yeah. And because we don't care... We'll activate both of those and give her a little more power to play with. Actually, one moment. I'm going to look at something for you. Now, you folks may be uh, questioning yourselves why we didn't have abilities like this in the first game. It's actually a really good reason for that. Because that would be dumb. Well, uh -huh. it's not. Not for that reason. There's actually a really good reason that we have uh, the uh, three class, or cross class abilities or ability items in this game. To fix the problem of you can only have so many good classes? Not quite. Ooh, okay. Nigh. Yes. If you put one of each gin that is not that character's 
Ginny type. So three anti them, Jin. Anti them, is that a technical term? It's for the thingy. Anyway, if you put, for example, on a Mars, one Venus, one Mercury, and one Jupiter, we'll actually get to the next rank. But I can't do that right now. Uh, yeah, so don't go south from here because you can't get back up. You'll have to go all the way around. Oh, here's a fun thing. You know, you get at level 20. Summon dragon. Emu. It's gonna turn Bruh. on you. You know it'll turn on you. Me, 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 me. The problem is, none of this experience is actually going to Shima. So she's gonna be under leveled for a while. Yeah, I know. Luckily, this place is right here. That's such a festive atmosphere, too. Lady, out of my way. I want to go this way. You dick. Welcome to Alfalfa, where the people are obstinate as crap. You made an old man walk through the desert. Or not that one, we don't care about him, he's not the elder. There's the elder. And his son. Alfalfa. Alfalfa. Yeah, too. Alhafra, apparently. Alfalfa. How does he know that that old man is not his own old man? Look exactly the same. To us. That was not a racist comment. Don't you dare try to make that a racist comment. No. Saying that we have a Quick, very... Everybody conga. You have a very limited perspective compared to the characters inside the game. Mm -hmm. Apparently they see in better graphics. Yes. They see in high, higher resolution. Okay, folks. We have made it to Alhafra. Alfalfa. However you like. So we're going to uh, stop here for a little bit. We'll see you in a few minutes.